Well, I think it's very disappointing that the Brexit process has now been entrusted to Jeremy Corbyn and the Labour Party. And I think that the result will almost certainly be, if Corbyn gets his way, that we remain in the customs union so that uh, we can't control our trade policy, the huge areas of lawmaking uh, we can't control. And Brexit is becoming soft to the point of disintegration. We could be moving into a position where Parliament, where the, the majority in the House of Commons calls the shots. What would you say to that? Well, I think Parliament should think about our responsibilities. They should think about what people were promised in 2016. And they should deliver a, a Brexit that really allows us to take back control of our, of our money, our borders and our laws. And uh, this really doesn't qualify because you don't take back control of your laws and you can't do free trade deals if you remain in the customs union. And uh, I think that people will feel very shortchanged and uh, they will be bitterly disappointed. It can't last. This approach cannot endure. You cannot expect the fifth biggest economy in the world to come out of the EU and remain run by the EU. It's just not democratically sustainable. And for those of us who campaigned for Brexit and who believe in it and who believe in the opportunities of Brexit, it is bitterly disappointing. What I hope is that there is still time for the Prime Minister to do get an improvement to the deal that she has, or just to get her existing deal through, which is frankly better now than the chaos of having a, a Corbyn-controlled customs union what do Brexit. You say, what do you say to those who feel as strongly as you do about Brexit in your own party at Westminster? What should they do? How should they react? Should they make some move to bringing about new management at the top? How on earth can we be... Uh, proposing now to delay Brexit again. Well, this is that we've had a wonder, we missed the March 29th deadline, we're going to miss the April the 12th deadline. We now run the risk of the absolutely ludicrous uh, absurdity of contesting the European elections, the Euro elections. It costs about 100 million, 109 million quid uh, this, the government will have to spend uh, to elect 73 British Euro MPs paid up to £100,000 a year for all sorts of allowances. To do what? To sit in Strasbourg doing exactly what? On what manifesto will they, uh, will they stand for election? The thing is satirical now. We should be leaving and we've made abundant preparations for coming out without a deal. Uh, I had hoped that the Cabinet uh, would decide to go down that route because the uh, as you know, the withdrawal agreement has been defeated three times. Uh, you could manage a perfectly, as the Prime Minister herself has said, you could manage a perfectly successful, successful uh, no-deal outcome. And I think that is what the public wants. Is this the time, or is it too late, for a change of leadership? For some move, if it's possible, to change the leadership. And if that's the case, are you one who would wish to be the leader? You, you argue the party needs now. What we need to do is get Brexit done. And I'll be absolutely clear, we also need a change of approach. And if we're going to have a second phase, and I hope that we will have a second phase, if you get the, the first bit over and done with, then we cannot go on uh, with a failure to decide about these fundamental issues, whether to uh, remain in the customs union or not, whether to stay aligned, uh, with EU single market rules or not. We need to take those decisions, move on, and then start to deliver on the issues that really matter to the British people. What about the idea of trying to bring about a change at the top, at this side of Brexit? Would that, in your view, be a good idea? Well, I think what everybody in the country wants more than anything else in the world is for politicians in Westminster not to focus uh, on themselves, but to focus on the needs of the country. And the needs of the country now are, are number one, to get Brexit done and to come out of the EU. And what we've heard uh, tonight is that there's going to be yet more a delay, unacceptable delay. There is no need uh, to extend 
the Brexit uh, process in the way that uh, we're seeing. Uh, I think it's a great shame that we've missed the opportunity to come out at, at no deal. And I, as I say, I think it is bitterly disappointing that uh, the uh, climax of the Brexit process is now being entrusted to Jeremy Corbyn and, and the Labour Party, with the result that we're almost certainly going to remain in the customs union.